One of the key concepts of Inspire Maths is that we're exploring the journey towards an answer, and that's as important as getting the answer itself. Children understand if they use a certain equation or a certain column addition, for example, method, they'll get a certain answer. What Inspire Maths does, it gets them to investigate the process behind the, the method. So children are far more aware, for instance, if they make a mistake using a method, that they have made a mistake. They, the learning journey is very, very important. So the whole process is if they get the right answer, they may be asked to prove it using resources. They may, may be asked to justify their reasons. They may be asked to show them the teacher in a different way. And all of this, uh, this mathematical conversation that the kids are engaging in day in and day out, which we're seeing from now as young as reception, that means when our children go on to secondary school, they're going to be fully equipped to not only match the Year 7 curriculum, but excel in it and be in top sets, which is what, basically what we want. Uh, the children are enjoying their maths lessons. My teachers now say that it's the favourite lesson of the day. Turns their partner. Three and one equals four. Three and one equals four. My turn, your turn. Three and one equals four. Three and one equals four. Uh, there are absolutely no behaviour issues. All the conversation is based around the mathematics involved. And it gives them a real sense of independence that so they've been able to explore concepts uh, now independent of the teacher. One of the children said to me, um, last year it was more difficult because we could use paper and our brains but now it's easier because I've got things that I can use to help me understand what the teacher is trying to teach me. Children work in pairs or in groups of three because that mathematical conversation and that collaboration is very very important. They can learn from each other and they can help each other and also every time the children verbalise the language involved in maths it consolidates it as well. So also what you'll find is that the teacher doesn't accept one word answers it's, if I asked you how many faces a cube has, you would say a cube has six faces. Uh, and again, it consolidates the mathematical language, which is vital for children to know as they progress year on year through the curriculum. Fundamental knowledge of maths is very, very important in all walks of life. And it's interesting because there's no social stigma attached to it. You might go to somewhere and someone will say, almost with pride, or oh, I've never been any good at maths, but you won't get them saying, I can't read or write. Uh, and what we need to do, we need to prepare our children for the future.